Laos, the jewel of the Mekong. Sabaidi is a Lao greeting phrase spoken by the warm and friendly people of this quiet country. Explore this undiscovered jewel of the Mekong. Experience the Enchan, city of Chan. Visitors can stroll leisurely through Vientian and find beautiful historic Buddhist temples to explore, including the iconic Prat Tat Luang. The stunning colonial architecture reflects the rich heritage of the city. All the while, Vientian entices people with its small town charm to return again and again. It is a great place to relax and let the cares of the world fade away. Come, enter a tranquil and unhurried place and experience the unmatched Lao hospitality. Laos is a country yet untouched by modern demands, stresses, and hectic paces of life. Its beauty lies in the Lao people, centuries-old traditions and heritage, and its lush, pristine landscape. Visitors, as well as guidebooks, describe Laos as one of the most charming places in Southeast Asia. Laos boasts numerous historical sites that are a testament to its long history and location at the heart of mainland Southeast Asia. The original Tat Luang Stupa was built in 1566 by King Setatirat, but it was subsequently destroyed by the Siamese invasion in 1828. It was restored between 1931 and 1935 by a French university department to its original Lao-style lotus bud shape. The golden stupa stands 45 meters tall and legend holds that it contains a relic of the Buddha's breastbone. The gold centerpiece of this stupa echoes the elongated curve of a lotus bud. Today, it is highly regarded as the most important national cultural monument. The Tat Luang stupa symbolizes the unification of all Lao people and as such, it holds a special place in the national psyche. The Memorial Monument, or Patisai, was built in the 1960s and is perhaps the most prominent landmark in the city. It is situated on Lansang Avenue. While the Arc de Triomphe in Paris inspired the architecture, the design incorporates typical Lao motifs, including the Kinari, a mythical angelic type half-bird, half-woman. Energetic visitors can climb to the top of the monument, which reveals an excellent panoramic view of the city. In 2006, the Patusai Monument area was renovated to add a public park with two beautiful water fountains. It has become a popular gathering place, where people leisurely walk, exercise, and gather with friends and family. On weekend evenings, visitors can see a free musical light show at the fountains. Sisaket Temple Wat Sisaket is the only ancient temple remaining intact after the destruction of the city by the Siamese in 1828. The old monastery stands in its original form in the center of the old city, where King Anuvong built it in 1818. Undeniably, it is one of the most interesting temples in the country. Some of the Buddha images and artifacts include a large brick Buddha, two copper Buddha images, and 120 lime Buddha images, reflecting the finest designs of the 19th century artisans. Hoprakeo Museum Originally, this ancient temple was built in 1565 by King Setatirat to house the Emerald Buddha from 1565 to 1779. Hoprakeo also served as the king's personal place of worship. For this reason, and unlike other temples in Laos, monks have not taken up residence here. During the 1970s, the temple was converted from a place of worship to a museum and now houses the finest national collection of Buddhist sculptures and artifacts in Laos, including stone Buddhas from between the 6th and 9th centuries. Wat Simung, Simung Temple. The original city pillar of Vientiane is found at Wat Simung, located in Ban Simung along Setatirat Road. 
Built in 1956 on the ruins of a Khmer Hindu shrine, temple is believed to be guarded by a local girl called Si. Local legend has it that Nang Si, who was pregnant at the time, leapt to her death as a sacrifice just as the pillar was being lowered into the hole. A very colorful ceremony called Pasat Peng, or Wax Pavilion Procession, attracts large crowds to Wat Si Meng. It takes place just two days before the annual Tat Luang Festival in November. The Sien Kuan, or commonly known as Buddha Park, was built in 1958 and contains a collection of over 200 Buddhist and Hindu sculptures scattered amongst beautiful gardens along the Mekong. Many visitors come to see the enormous 40-meter high concrete reclining Buddha. Of particular interest is the dome encapsulating the Buddhist belief regarding the three tiers of existence, heaven, earth, and hell. Visitors can climb inside the dome to observe visions of heaven, depictions of earthly existence, and the tortures of hell, where the maximum stay is only five years in Buddhist theology. The roof offers a nice panoramic view of the park. The Lao National Culture Hall was built by the Chinese government in the late 1990s as a gift to the people of Laos. It hosts cultural events such as French cinema, Lao classical dance, and even beauty pageants. Kaison Pomvihan Memorial Museum The Kaison Pomvihan Memorial opened in 1995 to celebrate the late president's 75th birthday. The building is filled with a remarkably complete collection of memorabilia of both Kaison and the Lao People's Democratic Party. The Kaison Pomvihan Memorial Museum opened in December 2000 in honor of Laos's revolutionary leader and former prime minister. The museum displays a large bronze statue of Kaison out front, flanked by large sculptures, complete with members of various ethnic groups. A Shopper's Paradise From gorgeous high-end boutiques to humble market stalls, Laos is a haven for souvenir hunters. A visit to Dalat Sao, or the morning market, offers a multitude of handicraft products. Wood carving, traditional silversmith works, pottery, rattan household furnishings, mulberry paper books, and ethnic handicrafts are popular choices. Handicraft skills are woven tightly into the culture of Laos. This is particularly true of weaving and the production of hand-spun silk and cotton fabrics, which have been synonymous with Lao women for centuries. For generations, weaving techniques have been passed down from mothers to daughters, and the practice remains an important cottage industry. Laos is quick becoming known around the globe for its high-quality hand-woven textiles. Choose from silk, cotton, or even a blend of the two, with beautiful patterns that portray unique cultural meanings and traditions. Religious Heritage Laos's religious art and architecture have long captivated many a traveler. A visit to Laos, where 90% of the Lao people follow Theravada Buddhism, offers a unique insight into Buddhist culture. Buddhism is an inherent feature that colors every facet of life in Laos. Temples and stupas dominate the skyline, an architecture of even the smallest village, while groups of saffron-robed monks can be seen walking down the street in every town and city. The tradition of Dakbat, where monks gather daily on the streets to accept alms from devotees in the early morning, is centuries old and an amazing sight for any traveler to behold. Indulge yourself and rejuvenate your body with traditional Lao massage. In Laos, wellness, both physical and mental, is holistic. The concept of a stress-free and contented life is nothing new. After all, many travelers have described this place as somewhere you can't help but relax. The Mekong Sunset An atmosphere of sheer pleasure awaits visitors at the Mekong waterfront in Vientiane. There is a public park where one can sit, relax, and watch the array of colors light the sky as the bountiful sun dips beyond the horizon of the Mekong. The calm, natural beauty in the heat of Vientiane is a memory not easily forgotten. Lao cuisine may be little known outside the country, but it is considered one of the healthiest and diverse dishes. 
This is due to its affection for fresh vegetables and herbs, which appear in almost every Lao meal. Both meat and fish are usually grilled or steamed, and as a result, the flavors are fresh and the dishes are low in fat. The most authentic plate of rice is called kao niao, meaning sticky rice, glutinous rice that is cooked over a steamer. The result is sticky rice that can be molded by hand and is eaten that way as well. Fun-filled festivals. The hospitable Lao people are also great revelers. All over the country, there is a multitude of festivals and traditional celebrations. This ethnic diversity features clearly in these colorful events that typically involve singing, dancing, and feasting. The spiritual element is usually attached to the celebrations, and the beautiful ceremonies and rituals can enchant visitors. Vientiane also has many festivals year-round. Travelers should not miss the beautiful processions during the boat racing festival of Bun Ok Pan Sa in October. This festival is held at the end of the Buddhist monks' three-month fast and rain retreat, called Bun Ok Pan Sa, or Buddhist Lent. At dawn on the first day, donations and offerings are made at temples around the city. In the evening, candlelight processions are held at temples, and in a ceremony known as Bun Lai Hua Fai, hundreds of colorful floats decorated with flowers, incense, and candles are set adrift down the Mekong River, paying respect to the river spirit. On the next day, near the islet of Don Chan, in the middle of the Mekong, boat racing is held at Wat Chan. These popular and exciting boat races are held to celebrate the Mekong River and the end of the rainy season. Bun Prat Tat Luang Tat Luang Festival. This religious festival is held in and around Tat Luang Stupa, the national symbol of Laos. Lao people from around the country, Lao expatriates as well as foreigners from around the world, attend the Tat Luang Festival, which makes this annual festival the largest in the country. Hundreds of Buddhist monks from all around the country gather to accept alms and floral votives from the people. Many people make merit and offer prayers at the Tat Luang. It is an auspicious time for many people who believe. Visitors can enjoy traditional cultural performances and music. The final night of the festival includes a candlelight procession and grand fireworks display. Getting to Laos. The Watai International Airport in Vientiane has regular flights from Thailand, Malaysia, Vietnam, Cambodia, Myanmar, and China. Additionally, Lao Airlines has regular domestic flights connecting the main towns and provinces. Over land, there are several border crossings and bridges to neighboring countries. The Friendship Bridge, connecting Vientiane to Nong Khai, Thailand, is a popular border crossing for both Lao and foreigners. Visas on arrival are readily available at the international airports and border crossings in Laos. Smile! Come back and stay with us again in Vientiane, City of Charm.